Top five crypto coins you might want to be picking up on this current market dip that we're in. As you know, the market has been pretty crazy over the last couple of weeks. And as we have been expecting here on the channel, the market is, of course, having a little bit of a pullback and a cooling off period. Now, I, for one, am looking for opportunities in any given market. And with the market pulling back, it could be an opportunity for you guys to start your research into any of these projects, as a lot of them have had a lot of eyeballs and excitement around them but coming down quite significantly over the last couple of days. With that said, my own style of investing here is, of course, trying to get the best possible prices for any projects that I like. So for that reason, I have already opened some long positions on coins that have had big moves upwards recently, but I've actually pulled back today. So I started some of those positions and I did it over on Margex. Margex, you can trade with leverage and you don't need to provide any personal details whatsoever. So anyone can access this exchange from anywhere in the world. No personal details at all required. You don't even need a VPN to access it but please do follow the rules and regulations in your own countries with that said there is up to ten thousand dollars down there in my description if you guys want to grab that as deposit bonuses let's jump straight over to the video don't waste any time here we can see the overall market down close to two percent today now bitcoin on the seven days is down 2.5 percent and ethereum is down three percent these could also be big opportunities if you guys want to get involved in either of those two. If you've been waiting on the sidelines, this may be an opportunity for dollar cost averaging. But as it says down there at the bottom of my video, nothing is ever financial advice. This is the way I play the market. I'm not telling you guys to do absolutely anything. You need to go out and do your own research. But let's look at some coins and tokens that have had a significant pullback that may be an opportunity. First of all, on the day, Casper is down 7%. In fact, on the week, it is down 15%. Right now, sitting at a 2.3 billion dollar market cap. If we do put it on the month, it is down 23%. On the year, however, we are still up 15,000%. But on the month, it is down. I like the look of this chart. Look at this chart. All the way up, excitement, euphoria, all of that sort of stuff. And now a pullback. These are much better opportunities of, for buying than up here. Of course, we could come all the way down to retest these regions of five cents, maybe even lower. But it's still, in my personal opinion, a better time to be buying in this region when the market is down, when the market is down almost 25% than it is when the market is pushing up. Casper is on KuCoin and Gate.io and Bybit, but, but not on Coinbase or Binance where a lot of liquidity is. As the market overall is pulling back, this may mean that we continue to see blood in the market. But remember, with dollar cost averaging, the lower the price goes, the more coins or tokens you actually get for your price. And this is key only if you have a long-term outlook. If you do not have a long-term outlook, this is nonsense because you're just going to lose money. With that said, I know a lot of people have been excited about Casper. Maybe if you follow my channel, you were put off by the euphoria if you didn't buy it early enough. Of course, we bought it months ago and have seen massive substantial gains, but I haven't added to it in my public portfolio because of the euphoric stage. Now could be an opportunity to start adding it. With that said, we do also have a smaller cap crypto that has sponsored today's video that I want to introduce you guys to. And they are something that you might want to get on your radar. Today with a fully diluted valuation of 8.2 million, Syncus DAO is a new crypto project with a focus on decentralized finance. It's currently a small cap project, like I said, implying there are huge risks, but potentially greater rewards. Now, Syncus DAO is trying to learn from what happened back when we had the OHM and its forks pump, where a lot of people People were extremely excited about these yield generating projects and they're trying to learn from these mistakes to create a longer term yield generating protocol. But of course, these things do have their risks. Now, the nature of this project is Syncus DAO is a treasury backed DeFi protocol and participation in the project includes buying, selling and staking to generate returns from the treasury. Now, the growth of the treasury is pivotal to the project and the treasury growth is used to reward those who stake in the project where high yields leads to to increase demand, which in turn boosts the volume, further growing the treasury. If this cycle continues, it creates a self-sustaining system that rewards the stakers in the ecosystem. Now, investors can stake their Syncus DAO tokens, and as the treasury expands, so does the annual percentage yield for the stakers. And if you guys do want to check this project out, you can head to the links down there in the description, but we can see the price action has been significant over the last few days, with a rise of 2,500% from its initial 
initial inception. So you may want to keep a close eye on this to see if you guys can get a good entry price here. But the liquidity is good at just under 2 million at an $8.45 million market cap. They do have over 6,000 followers over on Twitter as well and some very decent high profile Twitter backers and other influencers that are talking about this project. So if you do want to learn more, the link is down there in the description. Now, moving on from that, we have Ralio Network. Now, this is a project, again, that had a lot of hype around it, but was a very small cap. I like to have small caps in the portfolios because they can lead to absolutely massive outsized gains. Now, this project is listed on OKX, MEXE, Polonex, Bingx, and Pionex. Not to be confused with that one, very similar names there. And it is down on the week 12%. Still up 30% on the month, but again, a little bit of an opportunity here, as we can see, a similar chart to Casper with Euphoria and now having a pullback. Again, if the market continues to pull back, of course, all of these cryptos will continue to pull back. But what they're trying to do is create the future of private equity, and they're eliminating the barriers to invest in, trade, and leverage exclusive real estate, private equity, and other real-world assets through decentralized finance. So real-world assets, that's a big buzzword. And with this recent pullback, it could be an opportunity to get involved in a much smaller cap crypto than then some of the others on this list. From there, we have Veracity. A lot of people are excited about this at $68 million market cap. I love what they're doing, trying to attack the digital advertising and payment space using the technology and transparency of blockchain. And they already have an absolutely massive community and communities are one of the driving factors that does make a lot of profit in a bull market. As we speak right now, the fully diluted valuation is the only thing that is a little bit off-putting for this at 670 million, meaning only around 10% of the tokens are currently in circulation and the rest will continue to unlock over time. Again, another project that is down on the month 9%, but up on the year at 150%, which isn't anywhere near what some of those others like Casper or Oralio Network on the year are up. So could be an opportunity here at a $68 million market cap. Now, another project that came to me very early that I did ignore for a long time was Antor Protocol, down 50% on the month. Checking out the year, up 3,000%, okay? But again, a much better chart to be looking at than looking at it right here in peak euphoria. Now, Antor did have some issues with their system, their provider, and that sort of thing. When that happened, we actually spoke about it on the channel, and I doubled down my position in the public portfolio, which we're going to check out in a second. But this meant that I actually didn't sustain that, ma that many losses because I was buying it down in this region. So we did make some gains, but again, the market continues to pull back here. We never know with the current market condition if we are in a bear market rally this market could give back a lot of the gains that we had, which is the importance of taking profits and or having a very long term mindset. Now, unlike Veracity, the fully diluted market cap for Anto Protocol is 72 million and the circulating market cap 64 million, meaning most of the tokens, 90%, let's say, which is much better than having a lot to be unlocked, which could result in better price action in the long term, but of course, no guarantees there. Now, finally, we have BitTensor. Now, BitTensor was a project that Sadly, I slept on a lot. I put it in the public portfolio uh, a little bit late. A lot of people very excited about this project in the AI space at a $1.7 billion market cap. I did sleep on this. I must admit I didn't pay enough attention to it when it was much smaller market cap. And a lot of people would argue that this is the only AI crypto that you need. Now, it's a very confusing website. I would check it out. Very interesting stuff. A $6.4 billion fully diluted market cap, meaning a about a quarter, if not a little bit more of the tokens are currently in circulation and leaving some room for dilution, but not too bad. Now on the month, it is still up 42%. So still a lot of euphoria in this project. So you might want to wait a little bit longer before you actually think about getting involved here. But I did want to remind you of this project because of course it can go a lot higher being one of the biggest narratives in the space, which is AI. With that said, looking at the portfolios, we have the YouTube DCA portfolio, which is up still 100% here with good old Casper, which we just spoke about. And then we have our smaller cap crypto project portfolio that that we are planning to build here with our biggest returner here, which is still Tau at over a 500% 
gain. Now, Tau on the week, like I said, down 6%. And if we do search from the biggest moves down, you can see the, pick, the four projects that we've spoken about in today's video that are down significantly, showing opportunity in this market. I would love for this folio to keep growing. So I'd love for you guys to tell me down there in the description what I should be adding to this portfolio to get the biggest gains going into the next leg of the bull market. Hopefully I've provided some value and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.